Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 74. So today's episode, I'm going to do uh, SCCM. It's a continuation of my series of SCCM, and I'm, this is part 6 of it. So uh, I'm going to look over here. So if I'm constantly looking to the side, it's because I'm looking at notes. Uh, if you guys have tuned into my other videos, I love taking notes and making sure everything is right. So today's episode, I'm going to show you guys uh, how to configure the client installation methods and also how to configure discovery methods within SCCM. So the first thing that you want to do, we're going to go into your SCCM console and we want to go into the client method, client installation method node and we got two options, okay? So you want to select the client installation method, double click on that to get to the properties and by default it's not enabled so you guys want to enable that okay so we're gonna do a check once you get that check you're gonna get another dialog box it's gonna basically tell you that you chose to enable the client push installation to install config manager client and software you must first apply your changes to the client push installation property dialog box and then ensure that discovery method is run on this site that's cool we're gonna press OK now we're only gonna hit servers and workstations okay uh, you also want to enable client push installation to the site system that's what you want to do now the next thing you want to do is you want to go into the account now you have to assign an account um, that will have local administrating local admin rights to the machine okay so if you want to successfully install configuration manager 2007 client to the Windows um, computers on your floor that user account has to have local administrative rights on the destination computer. Okay, if not, it's gonna fail, and that's more headaches on your on your side. So, I'm going to add a my administrative account. Okay, now best practice is you don't want to use this account. Uh, best practice is you most likely you're gonna create a an admin account and push a group policy to the machines on the floor that that admin account has local access or local admin to those computers. I'm gonna try to keep it sh short and simple because I want this to happen right away. And I'm gonna press OK. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna apply for that. And let's check out the client tab. Now the client tab, now by default you only got one variable um, assigned to this and it's your, SM, your SMS site code which is equal to BNT. For me that's the site code that I created on my SCCM. You can leave this as is but most likely there's another variable that you could do that which I'm going to actually create right now and it's SMS cache size. Okay. Now the cache size you can set it to anything you want. I'm going to set it to 2000, 2 gigs. And I'm going to apply that. Okay? So these two things right here that these two things you actually going to see them in the client side which hopefully I'm going to show you guys one once a client is installed into um, this machine right here which I this is my testing machine that I'm going to push the client to. And once you do that, that's about it. That's a client push installation. That's it. That's all you have to do on that part. Now, now it comes into the dirty, getting yourself dirty part. Now, we have to start uh, configuring discovery methods. And without the discovery methods enabled or configured correctly or properly, uh, the client won't be able to talk to the SCCM when it's installed into the machines. And SCCM won't be able to find any machines on your active directory or, or your container or your OU or wherever you want the SCCM to locate those um, computers and users. So we're going to go to discovery method. Now each one of these has its own little thing so I'm going to run it down on what each one is. So active directory system um, discovery uh, discovers computers from the specific locations in active directory domain services ADDS. Okay. Now, Active Directory user discovery, which is this one right here, uh, that discovers 
user accounts for specific locations in Active Directory domain services. Okay, so this one will locate your systems such as your computers. This one will locate your user accounts within your Active Directory. Now you have security group, system groups, and security groups. Real self explanatory. Uh, system groups would discover additional information about discover computers from the specific location active directory domains. Uh, this information includes the OU and group membership of a computer. So if you have a bunch of computers attached to a group, your system group discovery will locate that stuff. Now the security group discovers security groups including local, global, and universal groups from specific locations in active directory and domain services. So most likely if you have users inside security groups, uh, again, this discovery method will locate that stuff for you. The last two is your heartbeat discovery and your network discovery. Your heartbeat discovery uh, is used by Active Directory as used by Active Configuration and Manager clients to update the discovery records in their database. Um, so basically, uh, SCCM normally goes into your network. Depends how you set it up. If you set it up every two days or once a week, it goes to your LAN tries to talk to the clients if a client is off for a certain amount of time that's considered that it doesn't have a heartbeat it goes back to SCCM and say hey uh, information hasn't been updated lately so this machine can't be updated in the database if you go to SCCM finds a machine that's on the client is up up to date the policies have been pushed out advertisements are being pushed out to that machine with no problem that's considered a healthy heartbeat and that client, that machine is going to go back to the SCCM and say, hey, thumbs up, I'm good to go, what you got to give me. And it, the communication between those two things are working. The SCCM and the client on the machine are working perfect. That's a good thing. Now, the last thing is network discovery. It searches your network infrastructure for network devices that have an IP address that allows you to discover devices that might not be found by other discovery methods, including printers, routers, and bridges okay so that's basically the rundown of these six discovery methods now first things first what I like to do is in the discovery method I like to select the heartbeat discovery first and set that up so we're gonna double click on that and by default it's enabled which is a great thing uh, but by default it's set up on one week for me, I don't really want to wait, um, so I'm going to do it in one hour. So the network starts kicking in, and SCCM is doing what it needs to do in Active Directory so I can get some results. Okay? But best practice is up to you. Again, uh, this will be a, bottle, uh, a bottleneck on your network uh, because if you set it to every hour on the hour and then you have multiple computers on the network doing certain things, it's going to kill your network. You really don't want to do that on the hour. So I, I would normally recommend uh, every every four days or maybe every two weeks or something like that. Press OK. Now, the next thing I like to do is I would like to go to the system discovery. By default, this is unchecked. So with I'm going to enable this. I'm going to apply it. And then it wants you to go and pick an Active Directory container. So... I'm gonna hit that little star and you can either leave it default as a local domain so what's gonna happen is gonna go into your active directory it's gonna go to your local directory and it's gonna go to the root of your directory and search all that now if you have a container with all your computers hey you can actually do a custom LDAP and point to that particular container so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to custom LDAP I wanna go to home I want to go to computers IT test because I have two machines those are the only two machines that I want now by default you have recursive recursive if, if you have um, if you have folders within a container and you want to search that container inside the con that if you want to search that subfolder inside that OU recursive would do that job for you if you have groups inside that 
or you that you want it you want this to search search it I'm gonna leave it as recursive leave it as default press ok I'm gonna apply, press apply I'm gonna see in my there you go okay and the polling schedule by default it occurs every day effective of 1 1 1998 we're not in 1998 so I'm actually gonna run discovery as soon as possible and active active directory attributes this is by default so when SCCM starts discovering computer information from Active Directory. These are the attributes that it's going to be looking for. It's going to actually take and insert into your database. And that's when all the reporting and stuff happens. Uh, that's going to be a later on uh, video. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to press OK. Second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Active Directory user discovery. Again, by default, that's def um, disabled. So we're going to enable that. Go here. You got the same dialog box that you got on the system discovery. I am going to do a local domain. I'm going to leave it as local domain uh, cuz I have a lot of users everywhere. Actually, I'm going to go to here. And actually I'm going to just I'm just going to do a custom doing a custom LDAP just to keep it short and simple and I'm going to go to home and I'm just going to pick on admin. Press OK, press OK, apply it. Go to polling scheduling. Again, you can actually fix the scheduling. Um, it's up to you. Again, this is gonna be. Uh, I don't. I don't think this will be a bottleneck because I think once it. How often do you change your Active Directory and user accounts and stuff? So once that information is already inside your database, it's good to go. So, it most likely if it runs it again, it, it probably is gonna do a differential and find whatever is changed. Grab it. If not, just bypass it. So I'm gonna cancel this. And I'm going to do run and discovery as soon as possible. Press apply. Press OK. Uh, I think I did the heartbeat with you guys already. Uh, network discovery. Network discovery is not checked by default. So network discovery, you could check it. And the type of discovery is topology, topology, topology and client, topology, client, and client operating system. I would do all three of them. Um, just to get them out the way. That's pretty pretty in the safe side if you don't know what's going on in your in your environment uh, I would do all three of them but again this probably could be a bottleneck uh, slow network um, it is up to you if you guys are worried about your network you can check this off and SCCM will try to throttle uh, the discovery method and not hit your network as hard um, you got subnet if you wanna narrow it down to subnets you could do that Domains, if you have multiple domains in your organizations, you could do it here. SN, SNMP, SNMP um, if you're dealing with devices such as your switches and you have that stuff on, that would be good. Same way here. DICP server, if you have here. And you could do uh, scheduling. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to keep it short and simple, enable it, and just pick the topology client and client operating system and apply it. Okay. Uh, I did the, these four right here. Let's do the system group discovery. By default, it is not enabled, so I'm going to enable it. And I'm going to pick the local domain. Press OK. Press OK. Apply it. Polling schedule, why not? Let's run it. Press OK. And the last one is security group. I'm going to enable it. I'm going to do the local domain. I want the entire domain. Press apply. Press OK. Uh, let me look at my my cheat my cheat sheet. My notes. Uh, everything is looking pretty good. Yep, everything is looking pretty good. That's that's it, guys. Uh, that's that's about it. Again, it will take a while for the discovery method to go into your Active Directory and start working. Um, most likely when you go into your computer management and you go into your collection uh, your all systems will pick up uh, by default you should see if you go to all systems um, collection by default you should see your SCCM and your your SQL server but again it's gonna take a while for this stuff to populate um, which it is I can actually do the right click 
and update collection membership and see if that would do something I really doubt it let's click on all systems and there you go it's picked it up awesome awesome so that means my discovery methods are working it's picking up um, hopefully on the next episode I'm gonna show you guys how to push the client to one of these machines and uh, show you how the client works on the client side Thank you so much, guys. Please, please, again, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think as well. Give me thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video as well. At the very top right there, there's a subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews. And I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Thank you.